Hi ho and welcome to this first video relating to the new revisions of INCO Terms 2010. Recently the International Chamber of Commerce, the ICC, announced that INCO Terms 2010 is scheduled to be launched in September this year. However, they won't come into effect till 1 January 2011, next year. Now it's come about because every 10 years or so, every decade, the International Chamber of Commerce reviews the INCO terms and sees if they relate to the current world trade practices and trends. And they've received submissions and out of those submissions they realised an update was required. So hence INCO terms 2010. Now you'll see from the subtitle there, it says ICC rules for the use of domestic and international trade terms. And this relates to some aspects in certain trade blocks. For example, the European Union has a number of countries in that uh, trade block and they don't have uh, customs borders. It's a free trade zone. So some of the INCO terms uh, didn't relate terribly well to their circumstances. Now I'm not going to talk about that sort of a situation in this particular video. I want to talk about the changes that will affect most countries and companies trading in the world. So let's have a look at that. The revisions actually delete four terms. Delivered at Frontier, Delivered X Ship, Delivered X Key and Delivered Duty Unpaid. So they'll be deleted from INCO Terms 2010. However, they'll be replaced by two terms, Delivered at Place and Delivered at Terminal. The other thing about INCO Terms 2010, it reduces the categories from 4 in INCO Terms 2000 to 2 in INCO Terms 2010. And the first category is rules for any mode of transport. So we're talking about sea, air, road or rail transport or if you like, ships and planes, trucks and trains. Now there's seven terms, INCO terms here. And you can see amongst those seven terms there's two, the new terms, delivered at place and delivered at terminal. The second group or category is rules for sea and inland waterway transport only. And those typical terms are cost and freight, cost insurance and freight, free alongside ship and free on board. Now, what I want to do is show you within the structure of the current INCO Terms 2000 and relate the structure to what has taken place in the new revision. So in the current structure of INCO Terms 2000 we have the first two terms, departure and main carriage unpaid, relating to uh, the situation where the buyer is required to pay for the freight of those goods when they arrive in the buyer's country. In the second two categories, main carriage paid and arrival, it's the seller that needs to pay the freight in their country and add those freight costs to their invoice that they will supply to the buyer. So here is the INCO Terms 2000, 13 trade terms, and now you can see in the group D on this slide, highlighted in red, the four terms that will be deleted in INCO Terms 2010. That is, once again, delivered at Frontier, delivered X ship, delivered X key, delivered duty unpaid. So if you're using terms like that at the moment, or you know someone that is, you may need to sort of think about the new replacement terms, which will be delivered at place and delivered at terminal. So that gives you an overview of the structure of the 11 terms in the context of the structure of INCO Terms 2000.